Our other top story tonight, red tide plaguing our waterways. The latest report from FWC shows high concentrations all over the area. Look at all the red dots. Many are off the coast of Sarasota and in the bay. And while there is a large scale cleanup effort going on right now this morning, St. Pete Mayor Rick Christman said crews aren't going to be able to keep up with the amount of dead marine life washing up in the city. As of this morning, 676 tons have been picked up in Pinellas County. 10 Tampa Bay's Liz Crawford joins us now live from St. Pete. Liz, the mayor is now asking for help from the state. Look, Allison, the mayor said we don't know when this is going to end. Right now, there are rotting fish and dead marine life all around the city. Kreisman says city crews need, cannot clean up forever and they need reinforcements. Roughly 200 people from every city department, including police and fire, have been involved in the red tide cleanup effort. Today, workers use nets, rakes, and big trucks to remove dead sea life from the water. The city has had crews out doing work like this since July 1st. Meanwhile, jobs like tree trimming, lawn mowing, and sidewalk repair are being put on pause. The odor sticks to you. It stays in your nasal passages. And then there's the emotional toll of just dealing with all the dead animals. Now workers were pulling up a lot of catfish today at Chris Park, and they're really challenging because their barbels get tangled in the nets and workers have to cut them out one by one. Now the deputy communications director for Governor Ron DeSantis sent me a long response via email just a few hours ago. It said in part, Mayor Kreisman is either unaware of what is actually going on in his own backyard or is deliberately lying and using red tide as an attempt to score cheap political points. The email went on to explain that a state of emergency is not necessary because there is now a dedicated funding source for red tide cleanup through the Department of Environmental Protection. Until that money runs out, a state of emergency is not needed. Now you can read the entire response and learn more from the governor's office on our website.